Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. Today, let's take a look at some web browser alternatives. So if you've got a Mac, you've got Safari. And chances are that's what you use. That's the main Mac browser. Second to that is Firefox, which a lot of people use and we've talked about before. But there are actually a whole bunch of alternative browsers. Let's go and take a look at a handful of them. So the first one we should probably mention is WebKit. What WebKit is, it's the open source browser behind Safari. So it's actually really just Safari. But there are new releases of it every single night. That's right, you can go and download it at nightly.webkit.org. And it's a good alternative if you really want the cutting edge version of Safari. A lot of people also report that WebKit is faster than the recurrently released version of Safari. So if speed's important to you, you might want to get this free browser. Another open source and free browser is Canino. And this is also one that I find to be incredibly fast. You can download it at CaminoBrowser.org. And most alternative web browsers are based on a certain development kit that you could see from browser to browser. But not Opera. Opera is based on its own set of source code. So it's a little bit different than everything else. It's also pretty fast. You can go and download it at Opera.com. So OmniWeb is a little bit different than all the other browsers in that it actually costs something. It costs $15. Of course, there is a free trial as well. You can get it at OmniGroup.com. Now what you get for this are a lot of advanced features, like for instance the ability to have workspaces. That's a complete set of windows, tabs, uh, preferences, everything that you can customize for a different browsing experience and save for later. Now perhaps the most unusual web browser in our group is one called Flock. You can get it at Flock.com. It's also a free web browser based on Firefox, but it has a ton of extra features you can see right away. In a sidebar, it presents things like all your social networks. So for instance here, I've got Twitter in the left sidebar. I can update my status and I can also check on everybody else's status who I'm following. You can do the same thing with Facebook or sites like YouTube. So there's a ton of different little top bars and sidebars for tracking different things in your social media networks. You can even have a home page established that combines all sorts of different things like RSS feeds, kind of like My Yahoo or iGoogle, but done inside your web browser. So basically, all of these web browsers are kind of similar. The differences are very subtle. As they've been adding features over the years, they've been getting closer and closer to each other. And there's really not much incentive to switch from Safari or Firefox to one of these. Firefox, though, has the big advantage of all the add-ins. So if there's some feature you really need, chances are somebody's created an add-on for it. Flock has an advantage if you're a really big user of social media. If you're checking your Facebook account or Twitter account every five minutes, then you probably want to check out Flock. And also, you probably want to check out Camino if you really want something that's just super fast and simple. Another one to check out in that class is one called iCab as well. The rest of them have features that may or may not appeal to you. They all are either free or have a free trial, so if you really are interested in getting a different browser, I encourage you all to look at them. I'll put all the links in the show notes at MacMost.com and download them all and compare them for yourselves. If you find anything interesting, be sure to leave a comment to this episode at MacMost.com. Until next time, this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now.